What's up guys, it's your boy DS and today we're going to be talking about how to get the secret necklace and secret cloak in the game. If you guys want to look at it, this is the cloak and it's actually a cloak that Frey made herself. Now, there's a couple of different things you need to do to be able to get this cloak and to get the necklace. If you guys want to see the necklace, I'll go ahead and show you guys here. Here's the necklace right here. So if you guys want to get the cloak and the necklace, this is how you do it. The first thing you need to do is you want to go all the way down here to bottom Visoria. Now, the reason why is because you need to teleport to this Belfry so you can go all the way over here to this curiosity shop. So you'll go ahead and teleport over here. And once you teleport over here, don't go that way, go this way. All right? Now, once you get over here, you'll see this like house. And obviously, you will go inside. I'll get that mana in a little bit. And once you go inside, you'll see this guy. And he'll have like an introduction or whatever. They all talk for a little bit. And then he'll let you buy from his shop. Well, whenever you come here, you need to Which of my buy the sewing kit. Now, the sewing kit is going to cost, I believe, 68 of the old coin. Now, I know what you guys, some of you guys are going to be like, well, DS, I don't have 68 gold coin or old coin. How can I do this? Um, almost all the old coin I've got have been from the locked labyrinths. In the locked labyrinths, whenever you're going through there, there's going to be a chest that you have to do a little puzzle on. And once you do the puzzle, you open it, it'll give you old coin. Now, there are a couple out in the world, but like I said, I've got most of mine from just doing the Luck Labyrinths. If you guys saw my last video, I got every single piece of gear, so I had to do all the Luck Labyrinths. But anyway, was doing the Luck Labyrinths, ended up getting enough old coin, and after getting enough old coin, you'll buy the sewing kit. Now, after you buy the sewing Go kit, so soon. yes, I am. After you get the sewing kit, you're good to go, and... What you'll do after that, you can go to any refuge. It doesn't matter which refuge you go to, just go to one. So we're going to go ahead and pick the closest one, doesn't matter. And then with picking that one, we're going to go inside and go over here to the crafting station. And what this will allow you to do is it will allow you to craft both of the pieces. Now, I need to let you guys know up front, you're going to need some very specific and very... Uh, rare resources and i'm going to show you the ones that you need you're going to need six of these because it's three each right you're going to need three for the cloak three for the necklace so you need six lucid garlands and you're going to need six bumber shoot so if you guys don't know how to get these materials you have to fight the mutants and how to you know see where they are on the map it is going to be the upside down triangles Here's one right here, and, you know, there's one right here. But, yeah, so fight those mutants, and then after you beat them, you need to make sure you, whatever they, after they die, they always drop something. So if you didn't get anything, you need to look around the battlefield and pick it up. Now, an easy way to just automatically get it is if you guys didn't know, Frey has an ability where she can automatically pick up items. So as you can see right here, Burrow, you'll click it. And any items in the area will automatically get picked up. As you see, I just did. Now, this is the easy way to do it. Now, also, whenever you defeat a mutant, nine times out of ten, they will have a chest sitting right next to them. The chest usually has one of the resources you need, right? So whenever you defeat them, they'll give you a garland. Now, whether it's Lucid Garland, Woken Garland, or if it's Lambent Garland, I don't know which ones, right? So you just have to fight a whole bunch to find out. But some of them will drop Lucid Garlands. So once you fight them, defeat them, they'll drop a Lucid Garland or some other Garland. And the chest will usually have a Bumber Shoot. If it doesn't have a Bumber Shoot, it has a Nugget. So that's going to be what you have to do to get the materials to craft them. All right, so while I was editing, I actually double-checked to make sure I knew exactly what you guys needed. And you definitely you need six Lucid Garland. You also will need six of the Bumber Shoot, but there was one material I missed. You will also need six Flute Blossom. But the thing about the Flute Blossom, it's a pretty rare material. A lot of it is going to be found in the exact same way as the Bumber Shoot. So the Bumber Shoot and the Flute Blossom, you can pretty much get from the chests that you get from the mutants. 
or you, you may get super lucky and find it somewhere. And then the Lucid Garlands you will get from fighting the mutants. So that is how you get all three resources. Again, you need six of each of those. Now, after you craft them, you'll have them. And if you guys want to look at what, what's on there, as you can see from Unbroken, the cloak, um, the passives don't really matter because you can change the passives. But as you guys see, there are multiple cloaks that have better stats than it. So as far as this goes, it is purely cosmetic. You would only use this if you just want to look the part. You just like how it looks because the best cloak in the game is the obvious choice if you're looking for stats. And then there's so many other cloaks in the game that have better stats that it's really not worth from a stat standpoint. But nonetheless, it does look good. So if you guys want to rock it because of how it looks, you can. Moving on to the necklace, Home Sweet Hell, which again, this is the best necklace in the game. Uh, has the four passive slots and overall it looks pretty nice it has a whole bunch of different like you know fun little uh i don't know what you'd call them ornaments on the necklace that i i assume you know she made that resembles or reminds her of home so as far as the necklace goes like i said this is the best necklace in the game uh the second best would be sooth but anyway that is the necklace so there you guys go so anyway that is how you guys get the secret gear in the game uh, her cloak and the necklace that she made that's going to be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys think in the comment section below with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace